Hey, welcome back. We are just a day away from Valentine's Day, and for a lot of you out there, maybe you haven't gotten the flowers yet. So we want to show you how you can make a flower arrangement at home. We mm -hmm. have Eden from Eden's Botanicals in Fayetteville here with us this morning. Thank you for joining of us. Of course, she brought the good smell. She stuff. did. The she whole walked studio in. Studio is filled with fantastic oh, yeah. flower fragrance. We could smell it. So Eden, can you kind of walk us through how do you make the perfect bouquet at home? Absolutely. So if you have flowers either from us or from um, either the grocery store or from another florist, you can always make your own bouquets. I Start with the biggest blooms first. So I start with these hydrangeas here. Mm -hmm. I'll give one to each of you. Okay. Okay. If you kind of cross your stems into the vase, this kind of creates like a base layer for your other flowers to lean against. Okay. And then these big flowers are called your focal flowers. It is kind of what draws your eye in first. Okay. And then you kind of go in with all your other filler flowers. Okay, so when it comes to, um, oh, I just grabbed one, doing <laughs> the flowers, do you cut the stems first or Absolutely. do you just kind of take them how they are? So I cut them at an angle. This gives it more surface area for your flower to drink up. And you have about 30 seconds from the time you cut it to get it back into water before it naturally scabs over. So when we get Valentine's Day flowers, the best way to keep those pretty and live for the longest amount of time, what's the tips there? Absolutely, I would change the water every two to three days and give that a fresh cut and then put it into ice cold water. Also, okay. if you do not have a packet of flower food that they give you, you can always use a little packet of sugar if you oh. have something that you use at home. Oh, okay. sugar, That's okay. That's some good advice. Yes. And so when it comes to like going and picking out flowers, what are the things that you would tell people to look for? Absolutely. I would just pick for or look for something that is more closed, that has more time to open up, and then also just kind of looking for like local fresh blooms, kind of whatever is in season. Okay. okay. Awesome. And then y'all also offer classes if people want a more hands-on experience learning how to do this? Absolutely. We host classes twice a week, open to the public, or you can have a private event as well. Okay. Awesome. And then just for y'all, Valentine's Day, crazy time, I'm sure. How many flowers would you say that y'all have ordered just to get ready for the oh, day? Goodness. We've ordered tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. So we still have flowers available. You can order online or you can order through DoorDash as well. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Eden. Definitely some helpful information. Hopefully you'll try this out at home, but we'll have more for you later today on 5 News. We're going to another interview with her and put that online as well. Yep. So